What's going on, people? Welcome back to the Morecom FC Career Mode, man. And it is January, both in real life and in the game here. So um, the transfer window is open. Now, I know I always talk about how much little money we have. So let's take a look at that right now. We've got about 250, 280K, depending on how we allocate this. So it's really nothing, man. Nothing compared to how much money we need to get more come to where we want it to be and i know i could have signed free agents anytime i want but i wanted to wait until january just to kind of give the team a feel for to kind of like see what positions i needed to fill and what positions i thought were okay so we are gonna go ahead and sign a fullback here because cooney was recalled by burnley so we do go with fiola and so we kind of like have to negotiate him. He, his, his agent is doing what agents do, right? Try to get him as much money as possible. But at the end of the day, we are able to sign Fiola. And I am going to go ahead and make him our first choice right back. Because the guy that we have now, Melor, he does make a lot of mistakes in the back. And I feel like him being at right back doesn't really solidify us as much as I want us to. So we are going to try fiola out for a couple of games and just kind of see how he does so there you go guys as you can see we do sign him to a two and a half year contract 30 years old so i think once that contract's over his time here will be over but it should still be a pretty decent signing let's take a look at a couple guys here we have elijah just from oxford united oxford united are at last place i believe in league two so he might be someone that we consider getting just 20 years old 65 rated overall couple of other guys here uh Greg tarson i believe that's how you pronounce his name uh center back here from blackpool um so you know we are gearing up for a bigger transfer window in the summer so that is something to look forward to first game of the episode here against harrogate town harrogate i think are 23rd so we should be able to steamroll them but let's see how we do because you know how fifa is man things never go out as they should mcallen here grabs the ball in the 11th minute and where are your shooting boots son where are your shooting boots man just gets it over the bar here but you know 11th minute we are still looking pretty sharp Stockton here gets the ball in the 22nd minute, gives it to McAlden. McAlden gives it back to Stockton, and Stockton shows McAlden how it's done, bro. One zip, we go up ahead. Exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. Well, 27th minute here. Stockton grabs the ball, finds Aaron Wildig. Aaron Wildig gives it back to Stockton, and Stockton puts it right to the goalkeeper's hands, man. 34th minute. Will we live to regret that? Let's check out this counterattack here. And Davies, man, coming up big for us defensively. He's been getting really, really good defensively. And he starts this counterattack here. Hendry finds this ball, gives it to Carlos Mendes Gomes, who finds all the space in the world. And Carlos Mendes Gomes just cannot put it into the back of the net. Let's see how close we were here inches again man the ball just slightly going in the wrong direction for us 43rd minute here again defensively we're coming up big in this game guys Lavelle with that stop there is able to start this counter attack again Aaron Wildig finds Johnny O Sullivan and Johnny O uh, puts it into the goalkeeper's hands one more time what is going on here at Morecambe we left our shooting boots at home guys second half though Aaron Wilde gets this ball finds Johnny O again Johnny O'Sullivan trying to cut this back and puts it wide man and there's that FIFA glitch I don't know why I'm still in uniform but FIFA really needs to fix that 58th minute here Davies coming up big for us defensively and starts this counter and that has been the theme for us this whole game McAlden with the ball with some space just cannot outrun the defender here and defense 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 that has been what has been driving this game the whole entire way man so if you're a big fan of defense you would love this Carlos Mendes Gomez putting it in and 
I don't know what Cole Stockton does there. Just gives it right to the goalkeeper. But we are able to come away with three points here. 1-0. And as you can see there, Hollywood FC also gets their three points against Forest Green. And we're only six points behind, but we do have a game in hand. So hopefully we can catch up here. Second game here, we're going up against Port Vale. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to play with Port Vale in another career save. So this is like my own personal derby here. Fifth minute here, we get this ball. Cole Stockton gives it over to McAllen, and McAllen with his right foot shanks that shot, man. McAllen leaving his shooting boots at home. Another game. Eighth minute here, Port Vale grabbed this ball and try to get into our territory, but Lavelle coming up big for us, making himself an absolute wall here. A couple minutes later, Davies once again with that beautiful tackling starts this counterattack. And I have to give the defense so much praise, man. McAllen finding this sp space, just cannot put it into the back. What is going on with him, man? I think he might need some time on the bench after this. A couple minutes later, Davies one more time with that big left foot intercepting that ball there. McAllen grabs this ball, finds Cole Stockton, who finds Johnny O'Sullivan. Johnny O'Sullivan making that beautiful run, but then Port Vale display their own defensive powers here and I, I love it man I personally love it it's thrilling it's edge of your seat stuff and it's defense coming up big 38th minute though Coach Stockton grabs this ball defender one more time putting that leg in there and that is really the way that this whole match goes we still got this ball here but now it's the goalkeeper's turn to come up big how amazing is that right before the half Mendy's Gomez with a gorgeous, gorgeous run here, taking out Joyce over here on the left-hand side. Mendy's Gomez crosses this ball and finds Cole Stockton, and oh my god, how close was that, boys? How close was that? Should have put it into the back of the net, but unfortunately, we just can't get it in. Second half here, 66th minute. Cole Stockton with the ball finds McAlladin. And McAlladin, another beautiful run and another shot directed straight at the goalkeeper. A couple minutes later, we do make some substitutes. Price coming in here as a substitute. Finds Fiola, who finds Price again, and Price drives this into the defense. Finds Cole Stockton, who finds another substitute in Letch Smith, and Letch Smith says, this is how it's done, lads. This is how we need to perform. Puts us up 1-0. One more time, 88th minute here. Hendry finds Letch Smith, who finds Price, and he tries to do it again, but he just cannot put it into that top right corner, trying to repeat that beautiful goal that he had earlier in the season. And ultimately, it would not matter. We do go away with another 1-0 win. And uh, again, Hollywood FC getting those three points as well. So we are still chasing them. Mendy's Gomez, we do get a transfer for him. Now, when I talk about realistic transfers uh, i believe this is a spanish team and so mendy's gomez being a spanish player realistically that would be something in the future that we look into but right now mendy's gomez is going absolutely nowhere guys because he is doing the job for us there on the left hand side we get a couple recruitments here uh ibrahim baldwin looks uh, decent enough i mean we're in League 2, so we don't necessarily need world beaters here, uh, as well as Jackson Walters here. So we do sign a couple of these guys to the academy, and we'll see how they develop uh, in the future. Third game here, though, we are going up against Bradford City. Can we get the three points? But more importantly, can we start looking like we used to look offensively? Because, you know, we kind of switched around. We used to be terrible in defense. Now we have two clean sheets this episode alone. Offensively, though, we just aren't getting it done fifth minute though phillips gets this ball over to ledge smith and ledge smith with that kung fu kick that high kick trying to put it in with some style just cannot do it ledge smith starting ahead of mcalden here because mcalden's just been making too many mistakes Mellor grabs this ball finds aaron wildig in the 17th minute ledge smith gives it back to cole stockton and i honestly 
thought that was offsides. I thought that was offsides, but luckily for us, Cole Stockton's just a master at timing that run there, and we are up 1-0. to zero. 23rd minute, though. We are being countered against, and we see them got that guy with all the space in the world and turner bro turner absolutely beasting it between the sticks here ensuing corner kick though they get this ball right into the center of our defense and we just get that lucky bounce will dig going in here finding let smith in the 30th minute and let smith <sighs> That's always been his problem, though, consistency. And uh, Let Smith really needs to work on that. I know he's 30 years old, but he still has the ability to get the job done. Cole Stockton here finding Let Smith once again. And Let Smith this time puts it into the back of the net. And we are up two zip. Finally, we're scored more than one goal a game here. 54th minute, dude. We do have this ball. And we are just passing it around, tiki-taka style, man. Just little passes here, little passes there. Eventually, it finds its way over to Cole Stockton, who just cannot put it into the back of the net, man. Cole Stockton really needs to lace up those shooting boots, boys, because him, Let Smith, and McAlden are forgetting them at home. Aaron Wilding, though, gets this ball here, finds Let Smith, who, <sighs> again, misses. Another miss. 72nd minute here. Will we be countered against? The answer is yes, man. I Beautiful lob there. Turner, I thought Turner had that ball. It looked like a really slow ball, but it does go into the back of the net, and it is 2-1. Are we going to pay the price here? 82nd minute. Once again, being countered again, and look at the way that this play runs the course. They are just passing it around us. Another beautiful lob here gets it right into the middle and over here we think we take care of it but no and they blow it wide they blow it wide and we do get the three points two to one McAlden here says he'd like to start the next game and you know what one game on the bench I don't even think he made it to the bench I think we left him at home so one game should hopefully be enough to rejuvenate McAlden here so we are going to start him against Carlisle United in the snow and I, I hate playing in the snow, man, because all the runs are just untimed. It always seems like you're too slow and your shots end up being less powerful and everyone's just sliding around. I, I personally, I hate playing in the snow. 17th minute here, we do get a little bit lucky uh, because their runner just cannot make it and Turner gets there a little bit quicker. And it, it's almost a, an identical scene here. Cole Stockton gets this ball, tries to give to Carlos Mendes Gomes, who slowed down by the snow and just can't make that run there. 44th minute, they get this ball here with Bell. Bell finds a little bit of space. Fiola misses that tackle. Uh, Bell plays it back and forth, finds his man in the center, and we just fall apart defensively, and we go down 1-0 here second half here we do have the chance to put ourselves level McAlladin finds Cole Stockton Cole Stockton does what he does best and Cole Stockton just cannot put it into the back of the net man shooting boots missing what is going on couple minutes later we have the chance again Phillips finds Cole Stockton who finds a little bit of space opens up and finds McAlden McAlden with a beautiful turn man beautiful turn here drives it forward and puts it wide puts it wide boys what is going on here i don't know what's going on in this episode man everyone's just shooting all wonky ensuing counter attack here we get this ball again we have the chance we have the opportunity cole stockton cole stockton really should have passed i know looking back at it man i, I should have passed it to mcallen but unfortunately i don't and we do go down in the final game of the episode 1-0 hollywood fc getting that win mcallen man i'm really disappointed in him um i i wish there was a, a way for me to tell him that but you know go ahead and lie to him and tell him that he had a great performance and that's the way that this episode ends guys 31 games played 16 wins 
eight draws, seven defeats. We really have to change that. 56 points. We are six points behind Hollywood FC there in first place. Top of the goal scoring charts. Stockton, 24 goals from 31 matches. An absolute godly machine he is. Assist table. Cole Stockton, again, 22 assists. How impressive is that? McAlladin and Wildig rounding up the top three once again. We also have Slu and Pringle in the top 10, so let's not forget them. Let's recognize them a little bit. And I know I'm always interested in this kind of stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the top transfers here. Obama Yang going from Arsenal to FC Bayern for 107 mil, looks like. Uh, Komen going from Bayern to Inter. Rafael Guerrero going from Dortmund to the great Pio Monte Calcio. Uh, Riyad Mahrez going from Manchester City to Real Madrid. Joe Gomez, Liverpool to Spurs. Anthony Marshall going from Manchester United to PSG, who replaced him with Calvert-Lewin from Everton. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I know, I know there's not a lot of transfers going on and trust me i would i would want there to be we just don't have the money and i know as well that we could do free transfers but realistically i don't think we would be able to do that right now if i were to do a free transfer it, it would it would probably be someone with a little bit more pedigree and i just don't want to do that so early into the series so we'll probably hold off on that until another season but thank you guys for joining me man as always I, let me know what you guys think in the comments i love hearing from you guys i love responding to you guys it's really three four of you guys that i have as my core followers right now and i hope to continue and expand on that thank you guys again and i'll see you next time